Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Dunlop. I miss working with you. I hope you are staying safe. I hope you're practicing safe social distancing. And I hope that you're staying inside as much as possible. Because we can't meet at school, I'm going to be taping a series of video lessons to help you uh, improve on your musicianship even though you are at home and can't be in my class. You can still practice. Now, if you don't have your instrument, you have to go around the school and get it. It's okay. These lessons will not be involving the instrument. Our first lesson is going to be about clefs. You play a treble clef instrument. Everybody say treble clef. Say it one more time, treble clef. Good. Now, if you remember at the beginning of the year and from recorder class, a staff has five lines. How many lines does a staff have? If you said five, you're correct. A staff also has four spaces. How many spaces does a staff have? If you said four, you're correct. Now, we need to figure out what the notes are on a treble clef staff. So first, we're going to start with the line notes. What are the line notes? Anytime we want to figure out how to count the notes or figure out what the notes are, we always start from the bottom and go to the top. We go bottom to top. Everyone say that. Bottom to top. Good. So let's start with the bottom one. This is the first line. What is this line, everybody? The first line. Good. Now say, now say it with me. We're going to go first line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Everyone say it with me. First line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Good. So, the first line note is E, the second line note is G, the first line note is E, the second line note is G, the third line note is B, the fourth line note is D, and the fifth line note is F. Now let's say all of those. Ready? Go. E, G, B, D, F. Now some of you are probably thinking, how the heck am I supposed to remember all that? Here's something that will help. Everybody say, Every good burger deserves fries. Say that with me. Every good burger deserves fries. One more time, go. Every good burger deserves fries. Good, now do it one time without me. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourselves a pat on the shoulder. That was good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to say the letter. We're not going to say every good burger deserves fries anymore. We're just going to say the letter. Say the letters. Ready and go. E, G, B, D, F. Again. E, G, B, D, F. Now one time without me. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourself another pat on the shoulder. Now we're going to move on to the space notes. Everyone say space notes. Now, space notes spell the word face, your body part. What note do they spell? Oh, sorry, what note? Sorry. Uh, what word do space notes spell again? Face, correct. Let's spell the word face. Ready? Go. F A C E. Again? F A C E. Good. So those are the space notes. Now try that without me. One more time. Good job. Give yourselves another pat on the shoulder. Now, here is the really neat thing. You can practice staff notes at home without a staff with you. You don't need a staff. If you can buy some manuscript paper, tell your parents you really want to get manuscript paper and they can get it for you, that's great. If not, you can use your hand. Everyone hold up your hand like this. You can use this hand to practice line notes and space notes. Hold it up. You remember this from recorder class. I taught this to you in recorder class. You can use your fingers for the line notes. So everybody say your line notes with me. E, G, B, D, F. One more time, without me. So, those are the line notes. Now, in between your fingers, those are the space notes. So, everybody spell the word face. F, A, C, E. Without me now. 
Good. So you can use your hand to practice the line notes and space notes on the staff. Here's another really neat thing. You can practice with somebody who lives with you. Maybe they're a guardian. Maybe they're a brother or a sister. They can quiz you. They can go, what's this note? And you could say, that's B. Or they could say, what's this note? And you could say, that's C. Next, we will go over instrument-specific notes. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Dumbop. Your next lesson is going to be on identifying notes. We're going to work on how to identify notes on the staff today. Your instrument is alto saxophone. One of the first things you have to understand to do when you're identifying notes is key signature. You have to identify key signature. Key signatures look like this. Key signatures are either going to have sharps or flats in them. The key signature tells you what note is sharp or flat. You will find key signatures at the beginning of each piece and sometimes you'll find them in the middle if the composer wants to change keys. The first key signature you learned is called the key of G. The key of G has one sharp in it. Here's the nice thing about key signature. The symbol is always on the note that's affected. So, the key of G has one sharp. What note is that sharp on? Let's look. It's on the top line. That's the fifth line. Remember, we count, we start on the first line and we count up to the fifth. We always start at the bottom. So, first line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. That note is on the fifth line. Now, what note is on the fifth line? Remember, every good burger deserves fries. So let's count up. Every good burger deserves fries. So we know that sharp is on F. That tells you all Fs are sharp. So anytime you have an F in this exercise, you're going to say F sharp. You're not going to say F, you're going to say F sharp because your key signature says it's F sharp. All Fs are sharp. And for you advanced players, wherever the F is, if it's down here, if it's up here, if it's up here, if it's down there, the F is always going to be sharp. So what we're going to do now is you've learned six notes so far on alto saxophone. The notes G, A, B, C, D, and E. Those are your six notes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the process to figure out how to identify those notes and then we're going to practice some. Let's look at our first note. That note, the first thing you want to ask yourself is, is it a line note or a space note? So is it a line note or a space note? That is a line note. Now what line is it on? It's on the fourth line. I know that the fourth line is every good band deserves fudge. Actually, that's not what I say. We say every good burger deserves fries. So we know that note is D, fourth line D. So if you said that note is D, you are correct. Give yourselves a pat on the shoulder. If you did, it's okay. You just need to practice more. Now look, let's look at the next note. The next note, is it a line note or a space note? If you said space note, you're correct. Now, what space is it on? It's on the fourth space. So, the fourth space is F, A, C, E. It's the note E. So if you said E, you're correct. So remember, when you're looking at a note, is it a line note? Is it a space note? What line or space is it on? With that in mind, let's go over the next notes by yourself. What is that note, ladies and gentlemen? So that note is on the third space. That note is C. What is that note? That note is on the fourth space, so it is E. What is that note? That note is on the fourth line, so it is D. What is that note? That note is on the second line, so it is G. What's that note? That note is on the third space, so it is C. What is that note? That note is on the second space, so it is A. What is that note, ladies and gentlemen? 
That note is on the third line, so it is B. What is that note? That note is on the fourth space, so it is E. And what is that note? That note is on the third space, so it is C. What's that note? That note is on the second space, so it is A. What is that note? That note is on the fourth space, so it is E. What is that note? That note is on the second space, so it is A. What is that note? That note is on the third line, so it is B. What is that note? That note is on the fourth line, so it is D. What is that note? That note is on the second line, so it is G. Now you're probably thinking, why did I need to know that one sharp means F? I have not seen any Fs yet. When you learn F, you'll need to know that is F sharp. All Fs are gonna be F sharp in that key signature. With that in mind, let's move on. What's that note? That note is on the second space, so it is A. What is that note? That note is on the third line, so it is B. What is that note? That note is on the second space, so it is A. What is that note? That note is on the second line, so it is G. What is that note? That note is on the fourth line, so it is D. What is that note? That note is on the second line, so it is G. What is that note, ladies and gentlemen? That note is on the fourth space, so it is E. What's that note? And that note is on the third line, so it is B. And ladies and gentlemen, what is that note? So that note is on the fourth space, so it is E. What is that note? And that note is on the second space, so it is A. What is that note? And that note is on the third line, so it is B. What is that note? That note is on the fourth line, so it is... D. What is that note? That note is on the third space, so it is C. What is that note? That note is on the second space, so it is A. What is that note? That note is on the fourth space, so it is E. What is that note? That note is on the fourth line, so it is D. Ladies and gentlemen, what is that note? And that note is on the second line, so it is G. Ladies and gentlemen, what is that note? That note is on the third line, so it is B. What is that note, ladies and gentlemen? That note is on the second space, so it is A. What is that note? That note is on the second line, so it is G. What is that note? That note is on the second space, so it is A. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for participating in this lesson. If you did well, great, congratulations. If you got most of them, good job. And if you need extra practice, that's okay. Uh, just keep working on it. Use your staff hand like I showed you. Also, if you want to or need more practice, the link to this specific exercise is in the description box below. Your key signature is going to be before each note. What notes are flat in a, in a 
flute key signature. Signature that you're learning right now. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. I got, then, I got this. And seeing how many of you write your notes above your, um, write the names of your notes above the notes, then um, I'm not, I'm not going to say that. Okay. So that you can stop writing your freaking notes in your I'm just not going to say that. I get too confused. Yeah.